Hello students. In today's lecture of moment of inertia, I am going to discuss about uh, the uh, moment of inertia of I section. How we can find out the moment of inertia for I section. Here you can see this I section. Uh, for this I section, we have to find out the polar moment of inertia. You can see this I section with all the dimensions. All dimensions are given here. And you can see this I section is symmetrical about this Y axis. As per this diagram, we can say this I section or this flange is symmetrical about the Y axis. And accordingly, its CG will lies on the Y axis only. Because it is symmetrical about Y axis, so its CG will lies on the y axis g is the cg here where the x uh, is 0 the value of x here will be 0 and uh, we are taking the bottom axis if we are taking this uh, bottom axis uh, of this flange as the reference axis so we will use this reference axis or this bottom face as the reference axis to find out the position of this center of gravity cg so, uh, this Y bar, here you can see this Y bar is uh, showing the position of CG, G from the reference axis of this flange. Now, uh, for uh, to find out uh, the polar moment of inertia, our first step will be, what we will do? We will divide this I section or this I flange into three rectangles. The first rectangle I am taking as rectangle A, B, C, D. The first rectangle is A, B, C, D. Second rectangle is E, F, H, I. The second rectangle is E, F, H, I. And the third rectangle is J, K, L, M. So, what we have to do? First, we have to divide these uh, this i flange or this flange into three rectangles a b c d e f h i and j k l m now what we what, now what we have to do next we have to find out the areas of these three rectangle if we are taking the area of this first rectangle is small a1 the area of this second rectangle is small a2 and the area of this third rectangle as A3. So, the area of this first rectangle A1 will be, we have the dimensions here, all dimensions are in centimeter only. All dimensions in centimeter only. So, here A1 will be, we have the dimension 12 and so this is 12 into 2 equal to 24 centimeter square second area second uh, for second rectangle we have the dimensions 12 into 2 so it is 12 into 2 again 24 centimeter square for third rectangle we have the dimension 10 and 2 so the area of the third rectangle will be 10 into 2 so it is 20 centimeter square now we can also find out the coordinates of the centroid of these three rectangles uh, so uh, the centroid for the first rectangle we are taking a b the bottom uh, side of this flange as the reference axis so the if we are considering or if we are taking the position of centroid of this first rectangle as the y1 so the y1 the position of y1 will be 2 by 2 so it is 1 centimeter for second rectangle if we are taking the uh, position of cg for of this second rectangle uh, with the reference axis as we are denoting this as the y2 so it will be 2 plus 12 by 2 so it is 8 8 centimeter now Similarly, we can find out the uh, position of CG uh, for this rectangle 3. So, it will be again, uh, it will be 2 plus 12 plus 
2 by 2. So it will be 12 plus 2, 14 plus 115. So it is 15 centimeter. So we have A1, A2, A3, Y1, Y2, Y3. So as uh, we have all these values, so we can find out the value of Y bar. The Y bar is what? The Y bar is the uh, the position of CG of this total I flange. So we can find out the value of Y bar here by this formula A1 Y1 plus A2 Y2 plus A3 Y3 divided by A1 plus A2 plus A3. So we have all the values. If we put all these values here, we have the value of A1 24 into Y1 is 1 plus second one is 24 into Y2 is 8 plus third one is 20 and the Y3 is 15 divided by all the areas 24 plus 20 sorry 24 plus 24 plus 20. So the final value of this uh, by uh, bar will be 7.5 8 centimeter. So this is the value of Y bar. Now uh, with reference to the centroidal axis uh, we can find out the centroid of this lower flange web and the upper flange of this I section. So the centroid of lower flange Centroid of this lower flange uh, will be the value of x is 0 here because it is symmetrical about uh, y axis and the value of y will be 6.588. Now again the centroid of web. So the centroid of web the coordinates are x will be 0 and the y coordinate of y will be uh, it will be 0.412. Now the centroid of the upper flange. Centroid of the upper flange. The coordinate at x will be 0. And the coordinate of y 7.412. So these are the coordinates of the lower flange web and the upper flange of this I section. See, this I section is symmetrical about Y axis. So, the coordinates X coordinate will be 0 here. And the Y coordinate, how we can find out? We, uh, uh, we can find out the coordinates of Y by subtracting this Y bar uh, from the value of Y1, Y2 and Y3. So, we can get the coordinates of Y here. Now the moment of inertia of the I section about the centroidal axis will be uh, the moment of inertia of I section about centroidal axis will be the summation of moment of inertia of uh, moment of inertia of area A1 about the centroidal axis plus the moment of inertia of area A2 about the centroidal axis plus moment of inertia of area A3 about centroidal axis so what we have to do we have to find out this i x x and i x x is the summation of moment of inertia of area a1 about the centroidal axis plus moment of inertia of area about the uh, centroidal axis and the moment of inertia of area a3 about the centroidal axis so this i x x will be the summation of i g1 uh, as per the parallel axis theorem it is ig1 plus a1 
h1 square plus ig2 plus a2 h2 square plus ig3 plus a3 h3 square now if we put the uh, values of all these uh, terms here your ig1 will be uh, bd square so it will be for ig1 it will be uh, 12 into 2q by 12 this is bdq plus a1 the area 1 is 24 and the value of h is 6.588 square this is for term 1 for second term ig2 plus a2h2 square it is ig2 is again bdq the value of b for the second rectangle is 2 into h uh, and the d is 12 it is q by 12 plus the value of area is 24 and the h is 0.412 square now third term ig3 plus a3h3 square so it is 10 into 2 q by 12 plus area a3 is 20 and the value of h is uh, uh, sorry 7.412 square if we simplify this if we simplify this uh, equation now uh, we will get the final value 2495.25 centimeter to the power of 4. So this is the final value of IXX. Similarly, we can find out the value of IYY also. So it is IYY that will be 2 into 12 to the power of 3 by 12 for area 1 for second area 12 into 2 to the power of 3 by 12 plus 2 into 10 to the power of 3 by 12 so it is dbq by 12 now if we simplify this we will get the final value that is 462.66 centimeter to the power of 4 this is the value of IYY. Now we have the value of IXX and IYY both. So we can find out the polar moment of inertia. Polar moment of inertia. That is IZZ. So IZZ is the summation of IXX plus IYY. We have the value of IXX, it is 2495.25 plus we have the value of IYY, it is 462.66. So the final value of IZZ will be 2957.91 centimeter to the power of 4. Centimeter to the power of so uh, we have the value of now uh, we fi fi find out now the value of izz we have here it is 2957.91 thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures